there stamping friends today I'm going to give you some tips on creating this little sailboat with the swirly bird stamp set love this has some framelits to go with it but when you do the sailboat you don't need any framelits it's just very easy to cut out so this is a card that we're going to be making this month in my card classes so I wanted to just um, remind myself and give a little preview to everybody about how to create the sailboat so uh, you're going to have your stamps mounted. Remember they're photopolymer, so you're going to use a, a mat so that you get a nice clear image. With the sailboat pieces, there's a solid piece and then the striped piece, and I want them both the same color. <clears throat> so you're going to mount them ahead of time on your block and make sure they're where you want them. You're going to um, practice a little bit to make sure they're where you want them. So the first part, you I want to start with the bottom and so I'm going to use some uh, basic black and stamp that at the bottom and just hold this down for a few seconds to make sure I got a nice image there and then the next part I'm going to use real red for my sails so I've got the two stamps here they're separate stamps but I've got them mounted together I think I've got this nice and juicy there now I'm going to have to take a guess here. I don't want to lean over. You'll get my head in the picture, but let's hope I can get this. I'm going to press down, make sure I got it even, evenly, and that I don't have any. Not bad. Not bad. So there's the sails. Now the last part is the little flag at the top, and um, I keep having to check to make sure that I've got it the way I want it. Um, when you have a little stamp, try to use the smallest block that you, well with any stamp, you want to use the smallest block that will fit so that you're not taking a chance of getting ink around the edges. Now you notice I got a little ink here, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to cut this out. So again, I'm going to try to do this without leaning over, but that was a little bit easier. So there's my flag. Now all I have to do is cut it out and then I will adhere it here with some dimensionals stamp here and this is just part of the swirly bird framelit set and I went over it with some wink of Stella clear wink of Stella there you have it easy card so look on my blog for the rest of the directions about how to put this card together and what materials to use thanks for stopping by today hope you enjoyed the swirly bird sailing thank you